Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. In this, hmm, in this little hobby of mine, I get insults every now and then being called a yeah, racist, a bigot. Go back and check the chat. Check the chat? I'm leaving that one in, Steve. Go check the comment section on my discussions about the Little Mermaid live action. You'll see what I mean. But when these insults get thrown around over and over towards anyone and everyone who criticizes a piece of work that has a female protagonist or a black protagonist or whatnot, and regardless of what problems you have with the TV show, the movie, or the game, you are immediately called any and all forms of istophobe. These insults lose all meaning. And now we just have one more example with the Dragon Quest creator, Yuji Hori, maligned as, well, a Yahtzee and a chud for questioning gender ideology, questioning some of the censorship that he was made, or <clears throat> the developer was made to put in in Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake. That's a really, that's a mouthful. But if you are so rotten in the brain that you're going to call this man that name because he criticized developing, You've not only lost the plot, but you've lost your marbles and lost way more than that. But let's see, over at that park place, John F. Trent, during an interview at Tokyo Game Show alongside former Weekly Shonen Jump editor-in-chief, oh boy, Kazuhiko Turishimi. Turisha, I'm going to go with that. Hori was asked about the changes made to character design in Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake, <clears throat> and specifically why more clothing was added to Jenna Sharp, the female hero of the game. And apparently this is a translation. The reason why the exposure of costumes in DQ3 needs to be reduced, as explained. Okay. Uh, let's see. Translation by Valute News. Valute? Okay. Hori right, responds, there were various regulations in place. Apparently it's not allowed to show too much skin. And when, when you have the ESRB board, they're going to judge your game, whatnot. I guess you're trying to get an E for everyone rating. And they made a decision to the more skin you're showing on a cartoon character is bad. He added, I really don't understand that either. If there's too much exposure, the age rating goes up. It means we won't be able to sell it to as an all age product. And of course, you want to sell it as an all age product. So I understand where he's coming from. You want your product to get out to as get out into as many hands as possible. When asked about complying with various countries regulations, Torishima chimed in, quote, under the name of compliance, it's like an absolute god. Again, I'm reading the quotes, ladies and gentlemen. An evil disguised as good. Tee hee, tee hee. There's, no, there's not such things as content that doesn't make everyone uncomfortable because beauty and ugliness, good and evil, are different for everyone. There are few things that absolutely must not be done. As long as you follow those, you're free to do the rest. Next, he stated, there's religious concept from the West. Mm, we've been talking about that. I'm not sure how much. It's not really the religious right. We'll just go ahead and say it because everybody's going to say it. I don't see so much pushback towards, you know, not against censorship, uh, pushback do censor things coming from the religious right, as, at least not as much as I did in the 80s. Uh, so. He may be a little, mm, I think some people have mentioned that he's an old man. He's remembering how it used to be. Well, regardless of what it is, you have your opinion. I'll have mine uh, based on what he says. But that's not really what we're here to talk about. Let's keep going. Let's see. Hori then addressed the removal of the choice to choose between male and female. Uh, so, oh, the body type one and body type two. That's what he's talking about. In Dragon Quest, you used to be able to choose between male and female main characters, but now you can't choose between a man and a woman anymore because Western ideologies, ladies and gentlemen. It start, it's like, it's oddly enough, it's starting to bother me. I never cared before, but it's showing up over and over and over again. And for what reason? I mean, the, the, the character models, unless you're Dragon Quest, uh, not Dragon Quest, unless you're Dragon Age the Veil Guard, yeah. One body type is definitely a man, and one body type is definitely a woman. But that's a whole different discussion. We have to label them as type 1 and type 2. I really wonder who's even complaining about this. And that's, that's part of the argument coming from, well, I guess, my side of the fence. Who wants this? Who are these changes made for? If it is indeed for a specific demographic, it's a rather 
minute portion of a minute portion of a demographic, regardless of whether you like me saying that or not, percentages and statistics is what we're going off of. So if you're trying to cater to such a small portion of worldwide demographic, then they're probably not even going to buy the game. They may not even be aware of the game. Maybe you should start catering. Maybe all these developers should start catering to, I don't know, more of the majority demographic that are going to buy your game. Because nonsense like this is going to turn people away. Because it is seen as an ideological shift that no one's interested in. And if you do one or two little ideological shifts like this, it's, it's, it's going to give people reason to believe that the rest of your game is filled with ideological nonsense, and they're going to shut their wallets nice and tight and move on to check out something else. This questioning of the insertion of gender ideology, you know, getting ahead of myself with this one, you see what's coming. Uh, insertion of gender ideology into the character select for the game has brought the ire of jacktivists. They're not activists, they're jacktivists who are labeling Hori a Yahtzee because he has an opinion. <clears throat> How have you gone down this brain rot ideological road so far that you see any questioning of the great pronoun debate, the type one and type two in video games, and you're going to label someone like that a Yahtzee? Yes, I'm going to be careful with YouTube, with my words, but you see what I mean. This is a bit ridiculous. Yuji Hori going Yahtzee was not on my bingo sheet. Well, that's because he didn't, and you're just a lunatic. Hmm. The user explained his reasoning in subsequent posts. First, he wrote, pretty much welcoming culture war tourists who tend to be Yahtzees. Oh, okay, Kung Fu Man over here says, oh, what in blue blazes are you on about? That's a, that's a mild way of calling them crazy, pretty much welcoming culture war tourists. We're not tourists, we're gamers, we want something entertaining. And for you to insult a man, a, the, the creator of the Dragon Quest line? Go back up here. Yeah, the creator. Dragon Warrior 1 was one of my all-time favorite games, as it was called Dragon Warrior when they brought it up to the United States. All-time favorite games, I'm probably going to play it again, going to stream it one day. Maybe, possibly, or just playing in my spare time. And you have lost your mind so much that you're going to call that man associating with, you know, Hister? Okay. Do I need to? Am I far enough in the video where I don't have to worry about that? I don't know. They keep going and going and going. Kung Fu Man comes back by complaining that the game they made had to be censored. You can't chastise someone because grifters will latch on to a thing. Look at how much shit I call out on a daily basis. Oh, okay. I hmm. uh, call on a daily basis that some grifters might too. Okay. And Yukio, frosted Yukio, this wonderful, well, hmm, smooth brained individual. Room temperature IQ, window licking, hmm, paint chip eating, brainiac. It was censored because of Ciro, and that's been consistent for over a decade. Okay. Well, the original game wasn't censored. The artwork's not censored. But you're going to censor the game to try and uh, cater to the almost puritanical censorship regulations that everyone's trying to push over here in the lovely, lovely West that actual gamers are not interested in. The Type A, Type B stuff is not censorship. No, but it's stupid. It's nonsensical. It's unnecessary. But the fact that good old Yukio over here, and probably more, wouldn't surprise me, went straight to the most extreme reaction you can get to someone simply questioning. Questioning it. That's it. But we have more. It's the same design they've been using since 2012, only with yellow clothing instead of black. Yes. Okay. But that doesn't make it okay. That doesn't make it... Gamers don't have to accept it. Neither does the original developer. I haven't watched the video. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see, they were specifically talking about the designs that they had to just censor now. Did you watch the video itself? <gasps> oh my goodness. No, I haven't watched the video. So you're just running your mouth as usual, 
like your average jacktivist on Twitter, making a comment on something you actually have no idea about. Well, isn't that surprising? Said no one ever. What else we got? Let's see. One of the users on Gaming Circle Joke subreddit described both Hori and Torishima as douchebags. Oh, here's the extra stuff. Let's see what he said. To be fair, I don't think creatives should have to do something they don't want to do because of outside forces telling them to do so. Cool, then we're done. That's the end of the discussion, right? That's it. You should stop there. And just slapping type A and type B labels on what was obviously designed as male and female choice is one of the most annoyingly performative things I've seen in games lately. Okay. So we go a little bit further and we just stop there, but apparently we don't. What sort of brainlit thing are you going to say? Aha. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, he added, that said, these two still sound like douchebags. The creator of the game, the franchise, the decades old. Oh, God. Let's not talk about. Oh, 30, almost 40 year old franchise. Oh, take a breath. Take a breath. Oh. <laughs> the almost 40 year old franchise is a douchebag because you don't like his opinion. Uh, I won't be buying their games because of that. Well, okay. Unfortunately, you are in the minority. I just think they should have the right to make it the way they want. Hold on a second. Wait. I think these two sound like douchebags, and I won't be buying their game because of that. Who are you talking about? I just think they should have the right to make it the way they want. Wait, wait a minute. I sound like you're complaining that the creator is doing something he didn't want to do, but the regulations make him... Okay, hold on. It's ridiculous that gamers are acting like the opinion of two old men is representative of every creator in Japan. Oh, so you're trying to... Okay. Hmm. And somehow proves the West is forcing their beliefs on Japan. They are. It, they are. Because in order for the game to be published in the United States, they have to follow the regulations of the ESRB in order to get it out onto the market. And they want to get it out onto the market to make the most amount of money. So, so... Sorry about that. They have to follow the rules. So, yes, the West is forcing this bullshit onto international games. You can't even say that these two are representative of their whole team. Uh, then why were they allowed to speak as representatives of their whole team? No surprise. People associated with Toriyama would be this chatty. Oh, my goodness. Clueless individuals who are going to insult the creator of the franchise. Let's see. Described Hori as a dinosaur. Every time I see something new from the dinosaurs in charge of Dragon Quest, I get happy that I don't like Dragon Quest. Well, if you don't like Dragon Quest, why are you commenting on a discussion about Dragon Quest? Interesting. Now, it'd be a little different if you liked it at one point and you don't like the direction that it's going. That's what we do. We have passion for these franchises that we grew up loving that are we seeing changed, changed and cannibalized and bastardized before our eyes. So we're going to talk about what we don't like about it. This is a little different. You just felt like chiming in and calling someone a chid. Easily the worst remaining JRPG franchise to me. Cool. Oh, we have more. To be clear, changing the option. Okay. Transgender ideology. We're not going to go any further. I'm going to link John F. Trent's article and that Park Place's article in the description down below. But how, how are we on this road where if you have an opinion that does not align with the current ideology being pushed, the current changes that the powers that be want to shove down your throat, you have a different opinion, you have something to say about it, well, you are automatically... A bad, bad person. We can't criticize anything more. We can't give our opinion anymore. We can't talk about what would be better and what would be worse. This is a ridiculous timeline we're in, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'll say, I'll give the advice that I give all the time. Hold on to your wallets. Keep them nice and tight and closed. Wait for a trusted content creator, a trusted reviewer, to come out and put their money where their mouth is and let you know what they think of the game. And then, and only then, do not pre-order. Don't get early access. Wait for the full game. Wait for the reviews before you decide to give these mega corporations your money. And definitely, we got to be careful throwing these names around. And I've already gone off on a tangent. I usually save that for the live streams. But anyway, 
this whole Yahtzee and Chud towards the creator of Dragon Quest. My goodness. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Leave a like, leave a dislike, do all the nifty little things that YouTubers beg you to do, and I've gone on too far with this one. Bye-bye.